morning youtubers this video is going to be a little bit unusual and I'm going to talk about hi-fi audio and technology but a little bit of history relating to this piece of kit yes this piece of kit is my home hi-fi system but I'm going to talk about how it evolved into this beast many many years ago my mum and dad were ballroom dancers and dad wanted an amplifier and sound system he could take to the ballroom classes and it needed to be not too loud portable and have a microphone and the microphone where you could announce the type of dance that's going to be next to the music so I built him a small unit anyway things moved on and um, my sons went to the scouts and they wanted an amplifier system which was portable that could be used for their discos and when they had events and music on and also for small theatre work and things like that now then <laughs> with the advent and this is how this amplifier became almost what it is now and um, originally it had um, twin turd tables, cassette decks and um, then obviously CDs come along and uh, then obviously um, Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi and all that but this was used for all sorts of events but it was soon outdated because um, what happened was karaoke machines came along compact, battery powered and they were quite powerful so this came obsolete so what should I do with it well it really became my hi-fi for my house in terms of um, I could have different music playing in different rooms and I could do all sorts of things with it you know if I got the young children in the other room I could have their sort of music on and different so it was zoned to different rooms and I don't know you could read that it's got TV room there dining room there CD one there CD one there so I could switch the music between I could have remote control volumes in the rooms and things like that but this kit became my hi-fi and it developed into like a surround sound system as well with a widescreen TV this is a surround circle surround processor here which is obsolete and a few other bits on the unit which is obsolete now I was going to break this unit down because it's an industrial rack unit this is a 40U rack case and for those of you who are into electronics and things um, the rack case, industrial rack case, could be used for anything, test instruments, power amplifiers, radio transmitters, almost anything that was a standard rack size. And these modules or units are like 1U, this is a 40U case, so it will take 40Us, and the 1U is, I think it's either 33 or 44 millimetres, and you buy them standard width I think this is a 19 inch rack and it's the same on the back it's a metal rack and it's got carrying handles and you can put wheels on it but I was going to sell the individual parts of it but my eldest son decided if anything happened to me he wanted it you know if, if I died or whatever or got rid of it and I was going to sell it but he wants it so Today I'm going to be disconnecting a lot of the internals out of my house, the wiring, and I'm going to sort it out so it's going to go to my son. So rather than sell it, it's going to go to him, so it will still remain in the family. And uh, that's really what this video is about. So this is what it looks like from the back. It's very, very dusty. And uh, it's got a graphic equaliser built into the back. Now the reason for that is, is so little fingers don't play with it and uh, I need to vacuum it out and 
give it a good dust. There's leads and cables everywhere at the moment, but uh, we'll have a look at it. But uh, one thing about this graphic equaliser, it's seen better days, it's got a few problems with it. So that will be removed and scrapped. This is some of the wiring, and uh, this is inside. I've got to take the graphic equaliser out because um, I say it's faulty, so that's got to come out. And uh, it's basically four screws and, and unplug it. This is the power unit for the just the graphic equaliser. You can see how old technology it is. So it would be about a third of the price, a third of the size. Now I couldn't remember what I've done with the instruction booklets, but I've actually put them inside. Oh, that's handy. And uh, I've got to disconnect all these wires because it's configured for my house, and it will need to be really configured for his house. He's going to have fun doing that. Uh, graphic equalizers out now. So what I'll do, I'll start removing some of these leads. Start with a pair of cords. It's probably the easiest. Let's get rid of out of the way. That's it, that's power cords. Another one there. That's a power distribution board at the top. I'll talk about that in a minute. That's three. How many more has got to come out? Another one. Pan leads. Uh, and one more, which is that one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is fun. Right, power leads. Alright, what have we got now? Yeah, there's another power lead there. But that's got a tie cord around it. One of these probably sack twists. Okay, this is all the wiring out now. So you can see how many sockets there are. I'll turn it round and I'll talk about the amplifiers. Okay, so what have we got here? Well, the top section here, this bit here, is a power distribution unit. And what it does, it does the same sort of thing as this. If you can imagine this in there with switches it's roughly what it is but it uses the smaller connectors these connectors and you can switch off each individual item if you want as well as the on off switches the next unit down T minus zero is a frequency eliminator and what it will do it um, it's for testing purposes but also if you've got any announcements to make over a microphone you can press the punch out and it will actually um, mute it or you can kill the low frequencies for temporary so if you want to knock out the bass while you're talking to, over the microphone you can do that or the mid frequencies or the high frequency and you can use it if you get feedback and you want to just kill it very quickly you can just hit that and there's two channels input one and input two the next is uh, a crossover unit and um, within speaker cabinets you get a bass speaker, a mid-range speaker and a high frequency speaker. And within the speaker cabinets you have what's called a crossover. This is an electronic crossover unit and what it means you can do, you can have a separate amplifier for the low frequencies like the bass speaker the tweeter and the um, mid-range so you could have three separate amplifiers for feeding three separate speakers in a speaker cabinet now the uh, electronic crossover unit I basically used it as a tone control for the amplifiers you've got two channels so it's like tone control uh, the one below, the cloud, that's a two-zone mixer, and basically 
it's for two amplifiers so one amplifier could cover like the TV room and one amplifier could the dining room and it means you can individually set the volume for that room that one but it also means you could switch between CDs so you could have a different CD player in the TV room to the dining room so it's a, a zone it splits into two zones and um, there's a microphone level on them because um, an example of this would be um, in a cinema or theatre you'd have one zone being the main um, seating area and the other one would be in like I don't know the um, the lounge and you could make an announcement in the lounge to say that the theatre's ready for the play or the cinema and you wouldn't hear it in the main auditorium or so that's what I call it. Next unit down is a um, surround sound processor where you have four channels and you could change the effect of the speakers and um, I think that's an obsolete system I've never used it and uh, it's a microprocessor unit uh, below that is I think the Gemini 700 I think it's a 100 watt per channel Ampli power amplifier and there's another one below that and then the bottom one is a cloud professional power amplifier that's a MOSFET it's this big unit here all fan cooled um, I think that's 250 watts a channel and it's continuously rated so that could run all day long with no trouble at all it's dated and it's a big heavy unit so that's really what this consists of and um, I found all the instructions and the leads and everything. <coughs> I'm going to vacuum it out. <coughs> and then it will be ready for my son to do whatever he wants to do with it. If he wants to use the individual amps or take it apart, put more units. All these it unbolt individually. So each unit slides out the front. Technology moved on. Um, I don't own any music CDs to speak of. Nearly all my CD and LP cassette collection is now saved to a couple of um, memory cards. And that just shows you how much uh, the technology has moved on. My son is also going to have the speakers. And this one's here. I can't easily show it. I've got to remove these. These have got um, the tweeter and the mid-range unit in the front. And in the side, they got, I think it's a 10 inch um, bass unit, and they are in the side of the speakers. Two in the kitchen are just mounted near the ceiling, so they'll have to come out. There's big marks on the carpet where the other speakers have been removed, which I'm hoping the carpet will come back <laughs> to life. And I say technology moves on, and um, this is mounted on wheels, well on a trolley now, so I can get it in my car. And I'll just show you, one of the side handles. And uh, this is going to my son, and I'm sure I'll have some great fun with it. Um, he's not getting the, um, the Bluetooth equipment that connects to it. And so it can connect to the phone and any boot Bluetooth audio equipment. And um, there's some other receivers and um, uh, FM receivers and all sorts of bits and pieces so I hope you enjoyed this video but it just shows how technology has moved on I can listen to most of my music now on my phone so thanks for watching please subscribe and like comments welcome